Hi guys, this is William from Great Affordable Watches and today I'm gonna do a comparison between Steinhardt's Divers versus Christopher Ward's Diver. I often hear this question get asked, which is the best, Christopher Ward Divers or Steinhardt's Divers? So I thought I'd give you my opinions about this topic. So to the left we got the Steinhardt Ocean 500, in the middle we got the Christopher Ward C60 Vintage and on the right we got the Steinhardt Ocean 1 Legacy. And I should note that this one is a bit modded and is a limited edition version, so it's not available for purchase new uh, right now. I can also say that this one is of course uh, a very modern looking diver. This one is vintage looking but got some more modern cues than the Steinart here which is purely a vintage uh, looking and vintage inspired diver. I have a review of all of these watches and I will leave a link down in the description for them and also a card in the top right corner. So if you like to know more about each watch please check out the full review of them. So we got uh, three pretty similar watches with uh, their own respective uh, design. So I will start with the Steinhardt Ocean 500. And as you guys know, this is probably one of, one of my favorite watches right now. And I really think that this watch is very very good and offers great value for your money. The ceramic bezel is very well made and the sapphire crystal with the bevel here is probably the best sapphire crystal I have seen on an affordable diver. So that's very nice. And of course the case is made out of titanium and the biggest issue with this watch is probably the, the non-matching material choices. The crown, the bezel is not and the case back is not the same uh, material as the case. The case is titanium and the bezel, crown and case back is stainless steel. So that's a bit weird and that's probably my biggest gripe with this watch. But honestly I don't really mind because I, I just love this watch for what it is. And of course we got the very nice Soprod A10 movement. That movement is very well decorated as we can see here. And we can also say that the case here is uh, probably inspired by the pre-ceramic uh, uh, Rolex Submariner uh, which is pretty obvious here on the lug shape and the case design overall. Uh, but the dial and hands are all uh, unique so that's a nice thing. And this is probably my one of my favorite Steinhardt uh, diving models. The Crystal Ward is also a vintage inspired watch. It's a very well made and very well executed watch and it's uh, without a doubt my favorite Christopher Ward diver. The case size is 38 millimeters uh, while the case size on this uh, on the Steinhardt is 42 and on the other Steinhardt is 42 as well. So this is a smaller diver but they are offering this model in the 43 millimeter version as well. Except for the size, the biggest difference is in my opinion the the more original design on this one and especially the more original case design on this one if you compare it to the Steinhardt uh, diving watches. The case here is maybe it's not better finished or anything like that but the case design is more unique and in my opinion better looking than on the, on, than on the Steinhardt. I think the case here is very well executed. So I, I will give the upper hand on the case design to the Crystal Ward if we compare it to the Steinhardt diving watches. And the dial is uh, very nicely executed as well. We got applied indices here and painted indices on the on the Steinhardt divers. So but other than that I think uh, the movement is a bit boring, it's the TA2824 or the Celita SW200. So the movement in the Steinhardt is much more interesting and probably more accurate and a bit better than on the Crystal Ward. So let's move on to the 
Love's Watch, the, the Steinart Ocean One Legacy. And as we can see, this is a homage or it's inspired by the, the Rolex 6538. And I, I should note, I should say that the vessel is not the original vessel. The, the vessel is taken from the Ocean One Lake, the Ocean One Vintage, which is available for purchase. And the movement is not the original one either. It's a ETA2824 top grade, and the original movement was a ETA2824 L bar grade, probably the same grade as on the Christopher board. But in my opinion, this is probably the best affordable vintage inspired uh, diving watch that uh, takes a march from the older Rolex 62 6538 and yeah this is of course a vintage inspired watch as well but this is honestly more original in its design uh, while this is more of a homage and yeah that's uh, a matter of opinion but I really like the uh, design of the old Rolex 6538 so I like the design of this as well and this is more modern feeling diver as well so that's just uh, a matter of opinion I love both watches but I will probably have to sell one of them and because I have modded this watch and uh, put in some money on it I will probably sell this one if uh, the time comes and we can see uh, that the case is uh, the case got no crown guards and the big crown so this is a very typical vintage inspired watch but in my opinion the biggest difference between these watches is that the size on some of Steinar's divers is a bit too big and a bit too big for me and for my 7 inch wrists so and especially this one this is a very big watch and wears pretty big because of the straight lugs uh, both the watches have straight lugs so they were very large for being 42 millimeters so if you're looking for a smaller diver uh, you should check out the uh, Chris Awards divers because they offer 38 millimeters uh, on all the crystal board diving models and Steinart offers 42 millimeters on most diving watches as well so that's a bit of a shame for Steinart uh, but they offer some nice movement and some nice material choices and uh, things like that so it probably weighs up and both brands got some plus and minuses and I think both brands offer extremely good watches for the money and it's probably one of my favorite watch brands uh, in this price range and I should say that this uh, watch retails for about 590 euros this for about 700 pounds and this one for about 550 euros so they are very equal in the price this one is a bit more expensive but I think all of these three watches are extremely good and offers extremely good value for your money so no matter which one you buy you will probably be very satisfied and I personally love both Steinhardt and Crystal Ward but I can give the slight edge in some cases to Crystal Ward because they they offer a bit more unique uh, designs and I always like unique designs but I have no issues with uh, uh, homage watches as well so uh, Steinart uh, is a nice brand in my opinion. So if you guys like this review, please uh, like uh, and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next one.